farmers then purchased farmland to develop the farmland that today provides so much for us. People who live in southeast Missouri have little awareness when they drive from east to west or north to south that they're driving in the greatest drainage system in North America. The clearing of the swamps, the draining, the clearing, the farming, transformed this landscape and created Swamp East Missouri, Southeast Missouri as we know it today, a unique part of a unique state. And it is water, the force of moving water, that made all of that happen and the labor of immigrants and working men who came in and hacked away at those trees and worked with mules and horses to dig those ditches and change this landscape from swampland to some of the best farmland in America. And the seven counties of Southeast Missouri once swamp, now produce one third of all of the agricultural income in the state of Missouri annually. People had never seen such gigantic trees. They hadn't seen the sequoias yet, uh, but they had seen these giant oak and locusts and willows uh, of immense size, very hard woods uh, that uh, had to be cut down by hand with saws, and they made those cuts. They hauled them out, they drug them with mules, with horses, they winched them onto log cars and hauled them out by steam engines. They built railroads out into the swamps to get the trees. So it was no small task. This was the last frontier in Missouri. It was an area that had not been developed. It was every man for himself. There was no law and order. It was a hard, tough life for everyone who lived here. This has been changed now by virtue of the Little River Drainage District. People drive down Broadway every day and do not think about the H&H &H building as we often called it. That's what it's been called, Himmelberger and Harrison. And in that building were the offices of the Little River Drainage District. They brought surveyors in, they brought uh, uh, all sorts of individuals who photographed and documented the transformation of that landscape. You can drive through Cape Girardeau and look at the buildings and never realize that here was the center of the Little River Drainage District. This system that we drive across, that we see, we live with daily, has changed our lives. It has made Southeast Missouri a successful, uh, prosperous region, a place that's uh, uh, comfortable to live in, a uh, place that has all of the resources of the university, of the city, all of the resources of Southeast Missouri depend very much upon the success continued success of the Little River drainage system. Without it, Southeast Missouri would not be a successful place to live, would not be a comfortable and prosperous place. The Little River drainage district is vital to the economic health of Southeast Missouri.